Hey, what's up, guys? This is the unboxing of the Rockford Fosgate Punch Amplifier. It's a Class B D. I thought it was a uh, Class D when I bought it, but I guess not. Class B D 1000 RMS one channel amplifier. There's a picture of the box, pretty big. Look at my hand. Birth date June 14, 2017. And it has this. One year extended warranty if you buy their installation kit, which is expensive. <laughs> Alright, let's open it up. Here's the inside of it. Whoa, even the foam is nice. The certificate of per performance ver verification. Birth date June 14, 2017. Model P1000X1BD. 2017 model. Here's a total, total power, RMS power at 1.1% 1 1 THD. 1417 watts. There's SEA compliant logo. Here's the power output. At 4 ohms, 473 watts. At 2 ohms, 859 watts. And at 1 ohm, 1417 watts. Half ohm, no answer. And this was conducted at a 14.4 volt power supply. Take a look at the specs we want. Screenshot. All right, enough with that. And the good thing about this amplifier, it has that clean setup feature for you want to distort your subwoofers. Distort your subwoofers. Either way, I have a DD1 SMD distortion detector. It's a little bit more accurate than this, but here's the instructions basically. Here's the amplifier itself. Let me tell you, this thing is pretty heavy. Let's take it out of the box. Comes with the setup disc. Come on. It's 24 tracks. Wow. That's a good thing. Put the screws. And I guess to open the little door to the crossover. Just punch. Pretty heavy and sturdy amplifier. Here's the amplifier. This is heavy. I guess the blue light turns on right here. And this is the door to the crossover. And the little this little tool to open these. This this amp was retailed at $499.99. But I got it at a place that I know of here in in California. That you could get it for credit. And I price matched it and I got this deal for $344.99. With payments of $45 a month. Well, I had to get it. It's really hard. I have a kicker KX 1600.1. The brush she says 1738 watts RMS at 2 ohms. But it's, it's not even as heavy as this. But it is more powerful. The kicker is more powerful and it takes zero gauge run-ins. This one only takes four gauge. And it does not come with a base knob. That sucks. It's a 12 volt ground and remote. The, me would always think the ground and the positive. The positive, the positive and the ground never should be together. It should always be separate. Here's that input clip LED. 
to set your gains. And I think this side is what you connect your your sub out from your stereo. Here's a PLC in, PLC out, remote punch level. I guess the base knob. And here's the the terminal for the subwoofers. It's I think the biggest you could put in there is 10 gauge or 8 gauge. And that's all guys. It's a pretty nice heavy amplifier. It's really fat too. See that? That's like 2 inches and a half. Or maybe 2 inches. Height. This thing's nice. Nice finish to it. That's that big punch logo right here. I was trying to find the power version. Really? 